Hi Taurus and welcome to your daily tarot advice. This is going to cover the week of November 26th through December 2nd, 2018. I will pull a card for each day this week, but let's start with an overall energy for you guys, Taurus, and see how the week is going to go as we move into December. I can't believe 2018 is almost out the door. Okay, Taurus. Woo, you guys got Mercury retrograde, reinvention, and uh, we are in full swing of Mercury retrograde right now in um, the sign of Sagittarius, and um, the sun is now in Sagittarius, so there is a lot of energy of spirituality, higher spirituality, higher understanding, um, higher perspective about everything especially you know that seventh eighth house energy because there's still a lot of Scorpio um, influence right now so Taurus you guys this is all about um, the past you guys are revisiting something from the past this week whether it's old ideas it's old lessons it's old emotional baggage it's people returning from the past um, it's you pulling out old ideas that you once wanted to do but you never did and deciding now is the time like it's you know obviously different for each and every one of you but Taurus this week, it is all about the past, a return to the past, and Mercury retrograde influence being incredibly strong in your life this week. So um, check all orders. If you go through any sort of drive through check your receipts, read the fine print, um, you know, back up and save all your stuff on your computer, just because we have this here this week. So Taurus, let's pull some tarot and see how each day is going to go for you this week with this mercury retrograde energy okay all right monday we have the eight of swords so um just because we have mercury retrograde taurus if you feel on monday kind of really trapped, encompassed, frozen, um, like, you know, paralyzed. You can't get out of a situation. You can't get out of um, a certain way of thinking. You can't stop feeling a certain way, you know, about a situation or a person. If the energy feels kind of oppressive and you feel stuck on Monday, you know, don't fret about that because it's just a it's a temporary passing energy and it's we're revisiting so it might feel much more intense so if you've been on a job and you really hate this job and you've been telling yourself I need to find a new job I need to find a new job I need to find a new job on Monday you might really feel the intensity of how much you dislike your job and if that's the case it's because you've got to give yourself permission to open up to new opportunities and believe that all the benefit and money and everything that keeps you at this place where you're very unhappy can be found somewhere else okay so um, if this is about a relationship where you know you feel really stuck and oppressed in a relationship like you know because you're married or you have a child or you could never afford it if you guys weren't together you know you're just really unhappy again you're gonna feel that super strong on Monday wherever you're feeling trapped and oppressed in your life Taurus you're going to fill it on Monday because Mercury and the universe is trying to give you that push to make that change to free yourself, okay, so that you don't feel so constricted and, and you open yourself up to those opportunities that are right there, but you just don't quite see them. On Tuesday, we have the Five of Swords. So, you know, whatever sort of decisions you decide to make for yourself, Taurus, you might have to defend them, okay? Um, not everybody will agree with your thoughts, with your perceptions, with the way you think things need to be done or what you want to do for yourself. And if you know in your heart that that's right and you're following your gut, you're following your soul, you stand your ground, Taurus. You stand your ground. Don't let anybody manipulate you. Don't let them gaslight you. Don't let them, you know, trick you and turn your own words and emotions against you. Don't let that happen, okay? Know the game. See it before they even try it. And with Mercury retrograde, um, this might be with the person where you've had this issue 
with in the past and now here's your chance to handle it in a different way you know and this person may just be somebody who has to have the last word they just always want to be right and even if they're wrong I'm still gonna have the last word if that's it if that's who they are Taurus don't even participate in that it's time to make a different decision on how you handle that person or people like that in general okay and again stand your ground for what you know is true for you but make sure that you're not being stubborn and egotistical and needing the last word, all right? Wednesday, we have the Eight of Cups. So you are making a decision, Taurus, to walk away from something that is oppressing you, that's just challenge, challenge, challenge. It's really strong at the start of the week, and I think you're like, you know what, I'm walking away. Or, because this is general, Taurus, Wednesday could bring the past back in full effect. It could be somebody's returning or the same fight that we always have. Here it is again. Or the same issue in your life. Here it is again. But Taurus, if that's the case, it's for you to change it. Okay? You're given a chance to make a, a break, a clean, fresh start somehow, some way. And I think for some of you, it's finally deciding to walk away from this job, to walk away from this friendship, to walk away from this romance, to walk away from these low or small ideas about yourself and what you deserve and things like that. I really feel Taurus on Wednesday is walking away from this oppressive energy and you're just done with it. Because look at this. Thursday, we have the Four of Swords, which is rest, recovery, healing, recuperation, restoration, recharging our batteries. So, Taurus, so far you've got a lot of swords. Swords are the challenge energy of the tarot deck. It's the mind. It's the communication. And whatever has been hindering you, oppressing you, making you feel bad, you know, fighting, whatever, we're walking away from that Wednesday. Thursday, we have some some moment of peace some solitude some rest some healing friday oh my gosh i can't believe more swords friday you are back up in your head though taurus okay you're really back up in your head mercury definitely rules the third house which is the mind and communication and it is <laughs> rampant in your reading so on friday you're really up in your head about something taurus and look at this. Saturday, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So um, this actually looks nice. This looks like we are connecting with family or maybe we've been worrying about selling a house or buying a house. And that's what this is all about. Okay. And come Friday, Saturday, things are actually, you know, going to fall in line. Finally, if you are owed money, it's like, it's finally going to come in. If you've been trying to sell a house, trying to sell a house and it just ain't moving, it just ain't moving. It's like you finally have an offer, something like that. Okay. So by Saturday, you're feeling much more grounded, a lot happier. <clears throat> it looks like the completion to whatever this issue is that you're dealing with early in the week. And look at this. By Sunday, you have the sun card. So by Sunday, Taurus, all is well in your world. Whatever you're facing early in the week, it's for you to overcome it, to make a different decision, to move it out of your life, to walk away from it with Mercury retrograde to heal and now we move on to bigger and better and by Sunday we the sun is shining once again very very nice Taurus so let's get you some advice on how to navigate this week okay so we have search for the ultimate truth Look beyond your physical achievements. Find the meaning behind all you have experienced. The truth is not always black and white. Use your spiritual gifts to reach for higher awareness. Exert that power to make a difference. Yeah, Taurus, anything returning from the past, a person, a fight, a situation, a circumstance, all of it, it's either finally you're receiving the reward of that or it's finally time to make a different decision so you can let it go and move on. And like I said, Mercury is retrograding in Sagittarius, that ninth house energy, which is the higher spirituality, higher understanding. And here you go, search for truth. And by Sunday, it all makes sense, Taurus, okay? So let's get you an outcome card for the week.
achievements keep focused on your dream yes and how this says you know look beyond your physical achievements I think this is where spirit is meeting matter and you're seeing things from both levels Taurus you're seeing the materialization the the profit the longevity of something but you're also seeing it now from that much higher spiritual perception which changes everything so again I feel this Mercury retrograde is um, allowing you to finally walk away from something as well as bringing you a reward, Taurus, okay? So let the challenge happen, go through the motions, and by the weekend, things are much, much better, okay? The sun is shining once more. So those are your messages for this week, Taurus. I'm wishing you all the very best. Take care.